This year's World Economic Forum, hosted since the 1970s, kicks off again in Davos, Switzerland. Under the theme of cooperation in a fragmented world, heads of states and business leaders from around the world are discussing pressing issues like inflation and the war in Ukraine. But it started off with a meeting on the deepening climate crisis. Tong Eunju has more. The World Economic Forum returned to Davos, Switzerland for its first in-person meeting in two years on Monday and will continue until Friday. Under the theme of cooperation in a fragmented world, the meeting will center on issues such as geoeconomic challenges, stagnant economic growth and the deepening climate crisis. The meeting will also emphasize topics related to five fields the current energy and food crisis, the world's high inflation, low growth and high debt economy, industry headwinds, social vulnerabilities and geopolitical risks. The WEF said attendees will look at these in the context of a new system for dialogue and cooperation in a multipolar world. We need that transfer of information and knowledge and innovation across borders to be able to lift living standards for all. So that has to be one core part of the discussions here. More than 600 CEOs will be in town, and so will 51 heads of state and government, including South Korea's President Yoon and the leaders of Spain, Poland and the Philippines. Davis 2023 kicked off with climate change on top of the agenda, as this year's unusually warm winters brought an unprecedented snow shortage to the Swiss town. Many other ski resorts in the Alps are struggling to stay open due to a lack of snow. The forum also brought up concerns that extreme weather exacerbates the risk of infectious diseases. Meanwhile, ahead of the World Economic Forum, the Swiss president had invited culture ministers from 31 European countries to launch the new Davos Balkultur Alliance to create more sustainable and climate-friendly buildings and urban landscapes. Balkultur is shorthand for the preservation and development of quality, sustainable and culturally relevant buildings and cities. The alliance was created to pursue goals set out in the so-called Davos Declaration, aimed at high-quality Balkultur for Europe, which was adopted in 2018. Tong Eunju, Arirang News.